When I first started watching anime, I avoided isekai like the plague because of some misguided sense of superiority. You can call it prejudice. But how could I be a serious reviewer if I dismiss an entire genre sight unseen? So I dived in, and after doing decades of extensive research and analysis, I finally see the light. I get why isekai is so appealing and prolific. It must be doing something right. In order for stories to work, it needs to resonate with us in a way, and isekai definitely does. A common explanation is wish fulfillment, and while it's not wrong, we can go deeper into the psychology of it and explore the desires of being acknowledged for our abilities and fitting in a place that understands us, a place where we can belong. This desire to belong is pretty much universal. We all subconsciously seek a place where we feel validated and accepted. You know what, there's probably rare cases like masochists who go into hostile areas on purpose, but for the most part, no. Even people who don't conform to society's standards like shut-ins or hikikomoris all want it in a way. I would say a good amount of nerds living you know, in their mom's basement have small groups and niches they're in. And don't forget how online gaming can bring people together and create communities. This anonymity can help a lot of people become more outgoing. At least that's what it did for me. In these circles, we can fully be ourselves and flex our knowledge about different topics. But expertise in this stuff is useless. Knowing the right way to play Monster Girl Quest isn't gonna help us in real life, is it? We all have something that we're interested in or a lifestyle that won't financially provide for us. Add the fact that most of us won't stand out from the crowd and be remembered in history books. While we're the main character of our own lives, we'll never be the main character of this world. This world doesn't revolve around a single person, but what if it did? And that's where Isekai comes in. When people say it's wish fulfillment, they're right, but the underlying psychology of it makes it more potent than just any wish. Let me know if this sounds familiar. An average guy or a social outcast leaves their world and ends up in a JRPG fantasy world where their once useless skills are now valuable, earning the respect of everyone around him. It's a world where deep game knowledge can get you laid and paid. But why do so many isekai animes take place in a game or game-like world? Like recently with Slime or Shield Hero, they don't explicitly take place in a game, but there's a lot of visuals and mechanics that remind us of one. Well, to explain why, we gotta take a look at what's popular. If you're aware of what's going on, video games are everywhere. There's a pretty substantial overlap in the anime and gaming communities. You're seeing that more and more adults are playing video games and spending their leisure time differently than their parents. I mentioned useless skills becoming valuable in the alternate world, and that's where video games come in. Unless you're in esports or are a successful streamer, geeking out in an RPG isn't gonna earn you a living. I still get people asking me, why do you still watch anime or play games? That's for kids. All right, listen here. It's another form of storytelling. Back in the day, people huddled around their radios and listened to stories. Eventually that moved over to television and now it's in video games. And let's be honest, video games are more engaging than just watching moving images on screen. When you're moving a character around in 3D space, you at least have a semblance of control over the narrative. So the storytelling medium has evolved, but I guess some people just don't understand that. There's a sort of divide in generations that didn't have video games and ones that grew up with it. People always question you, why do you waste your time on it when you could be doing other productive stuff like knitting socks by the fireplace or fixing a refrigerator. And that can explain why the current structure of isekai is focused around this particular scenery. If you're knowledgeable about whatever game, that'll help you if you're transported into a world where life is all about that. So eventually, the gamey, fantasy, medieval setting, that'll become history. But that underlying narrative of alternate universe where we can belong and be special will always persist. We can also see this usage outside of anime and things closer to home. You've probably heard of doomsday preppers and our society's fascination with the post-apocalyptic. We've got The Walking Dead, Fallout, Daisy, and all sorts of stuff coming out, and they appeal to certain types of people. Now, they're pretty popular with where many just view it as entertainment, but for some, it speaks to them. Preppers. People who worry about the world ending and have a ton of knowledge about living off the grid and survival. 
Think about it. Right now, knowing how to raise sheep or generating electricity is pretty useless when we still have our modern infrastructure. But when it all collapses, then, you know, all that knowledge gets to become useful. Imagine a world where the monotony of the 9 to 5 job is broken and you're on top because you prepared. You're now living out your fantasy of kicking ass in the wasteland and all those people who doubted you are now crawling to you for help. A common thread in these examples are people with unremarkable or unmarketable skills suddenly becoming useful in a world that values their particular expertise. Now, I'm not saying people who like isekai are unsuccessful at life or whatever, but I think everyone has some hobby or interest that is pretty useless in our current society. So it's a nice fantasy that we can all relate to. The reason why we're constantly flooded with isekai every year is because it works. Everything just works. They found a formula that takes advantage of our innate desire to belong and be recognized. And so once something is proven to work, studio executives will just keep greenlighting it because it's the safest option. Entertainment deals with art, but it's also a business. And that's why after a lot of great ideas come out, it gets beaten to death, and then we move on to something else that we'll eventually get sick of. So is Isekai here to stay? Yes. I believe that it will always be here, but maybe not in its current form. Several years down the line, the setup might change, but going to an alternate reality where you're valuable and important, it's just too alluring of an idea to disappear from our stories. For those of you still watching, I hope that you found this interesting. Uh, let me know what you thought of my hypothesis and maybe your take on why Isekai is so popular. I thought I'd start the new year with somewhat of a highbrow analytical video, but don't worry, we're gonna be getting into some spicier stuff in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, follow me on Twitter to stay updated, and as always, I will see you in the next video.